Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't uh, been able to make that sinking video yet, and I don't know if I ever will be able to, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I took apart uh, my other uh, fairy mod mock because every time I built it, it looked nice and it looked like a really good uh, mock. But, I did not like it for some reason. And, I've been seeing, uh, things about, um, ships and, uh, like, sh like, cargo ships from 19, uh, from the 1950s and 60s and early 70s. And, I really like the look of most of them. So, wait, let me fix that. So, I've decided to, uh, make a, uh, mini cargo ship. This is supposed to be, like, a small one. Like, it's not supposed to carry, like, 20 to 30 thousand, like, um, containers. It's supposed to just, like, be able to hold, like, things like... Let's say you buy something, like, like basically shipment, like, apples and bananas and stuff like that it needs to be shipped down, like, the river to, let's say, like, a town that has a pier. This would be, like, one of those ships that would just, like, you know, just put whatever they need, um, on whatever that town needs and they'll just put it on this ship and it'll just travel there and back. It'll probably be, like, a one-night, um like a one night type thing like it'll take one night to get there and it'll take one night to get back to the main huge pier so this is supposed to be like one of those ships that you just see down like a little river not like a one that you'd see out in the like ocean uh so but uh in my like thing though I want like, the ship that I have to be sinking in the ocean. So, maybe, like, this could be... Because it needs a... My ship that I have needs a rescue ship. And this is going to be the rescue ship. So, I was... i am thinking about, like, a story, like, timeline type thing. Like, the, uh... This was at Pier. Because all the other ones were being used. But that one just got back. And everyone was about to, uh... Depart from the mini cargo ship and uh they got an sos call that a uh because this could be like a rescue ship too it doesn't have to be like just a uh cargo ship this could be like a rescue ship too so it gets like a like a call from the uh nearby po like um the nearby i forgot the Coast Guard. So they get like a call from the Coast Guard and they're the closest ship so they'll need that ship just to go there and pick up as many passengers as possible. And that'll be like the main story like that ship will sink like fully and then around like probably 14 minutes after the ship fully sinks this one will start like moving in. Uh, to where most of the lifeboats and stuff are. Just like a little story type thing. Um, sorry if you hear a uh, noise in the background. <clears throat> and don't mind my voice, it's just puberty. Uh, so, um, this does have, uh, like, playability. Like, the, uh, box in here. It's not actually, like, in there. So I could take these, uh, tan one by one by sixes off and I can like swap that for like a different colored one and stuff like that and uh the main cargo back here uh because um this is actually the boat haul is from I think the 2015 or 16 police boat set so they had this thing where they had like a, uh, they had a, uh, 
chain, no, like a, like a door thing where the prisoner would sleep, and it was only held in by a, like, L-shaped tile with, like, a really thin thing on the back, and I kind of, ha I only had those left, and I needed to make a small cargo door, so I decided to tr uh, use what the playability on the original set had, and I made myself a thing that you can just, like, slide in and out as the, uh, cargo hatches door. And in here, the, like, like, it's not actually secured in, so that was the funnel, not the, uh, here, let me get just the things that aren't secured down. Like this, if I pry it off, there's a whole whack of 1x2s in here, and that could be like cereals or maybe like snack boxes and stuff like that. You know, like essentials and whatever. There's still paint in my nail. Okay, we're getting off track. Well, I'm getting off track. You guys are just watching. So, I could just, like, uh, put this back in here. And, like, I don't even have to secure it down. I just have to, uh... Oh. Let me... Grab these, uh... Two by... Threes. And... These are basically just what's... Like, I'm just using those for extra space. They're, uh... Brown... 2 by 3s let me put the cargo back in, and then I, here, let me put it on its side, the funnel is about to fall out, you can see that I have just extra room, and I don't have that, like, much room left, so I just put these, uh, things in here, so they could just, like, look like normal boxes, and they fit fine. Everything is snug once the roof is on. Um, but I know if water gets into this cargo hold, it, basically the whole ship might sink. I don't know. It's Lego. It probably won't. But, like, it'll have, like, water in it and stuff like that. Which I haven't, I haven't really done any tests, like, wave tests and stuff like that. So this could just, like, you know, go like like this, like, the whole time. So, I don't know. Also, I can change the uh, funnel color. I have uh, pieces to change them. I want to get uh, some more tan pieces to make a tan white and uh, black funnel. Because that's one of my favorite color schemes. Oh, I have it on backwards. That's one of my favorite color schemes on... Uh, cargo ships and ocean liners because I made a ocean liner um, on my old device I have an old YouTube channel I don't really use it anymore it's called Team Jake it has some like really good detailed models uh, I was messing around with the names and Team Jake kind of stuck for a little bit and I still have the tablet too, which that YouTube channel is on. So I w I've been wanting to get my tablet fixed so I can have that YouTube channel and basically say hi after like, I would say, probably a year or two now since that happened. Because we moved, uh, it happened three days before we moved into the house that we're living in now. And what happened was, I had a different table. It was the same as this table, but in, like, brown, and it was actually hand-carved and stuff like that. And it was just, like, a Lego table, and it was, and we were fixing it up. And then, we left it at our old house, and we, or we just gave it to our neighbors. I really do not know what happened to that table. But I really like that table. So, yeah, here's just the, uh, 
ship. Playability, it's pretty good. Um, there is a small interior to the ship, like, you'll try and, like, there's a door there that leads into, like, a small hallway. I know where this pillar is in the ship, there's a wall that, like, there's a thing that's up there, and there's just, like, bedrooms in here and stuff like that, and right in here is just a big open space for mainly, like, seating and stuff like that. And, uh, I had some of these, uh, I think they're called wedge pieces, but I had four see-through wedge pieces, and I used those as the, uh, as the windows for the bridge, and they turned out pretty good. And, of course, I added string to the ship to make it more realistic. Uh, and I need to get two things here. I'll probably put, like, navigational type lights or something so that's just been the, the ship um if you like the uh if you like my videos um maybe go check out my old youtube channel team jake you'll find i hope you can find it because it takes me a while to find it after it, it just has like a whole act of ships and stuff like that so i have that channel and I will try to do a sinking video. I'm sorry that I haven't done a sinking video on my other boat. But I've been trying to for the longest time. But I haven't found like any time to do it. So I'm hoping on doing that soon. And here's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Like and comment if the comments are. If you can comment on this video. And um. Uh, there was someone that comment commented of uh, Queen of Atlantis uh, for my uh, other ship, and you know who you are, and I might actually use that as the name for the, uh, no, not the cargo ship, the uh, ferry, or I might use it as the cargo ship, I don't know. So... Oh yeah, and this cargo ship's like based in the Fraser River and stuff like that. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys when I do a sinking video or a video on my wooden model ships. Bye!